What is going on? This is Joan with Sharp Tech, and I'm back again with another cutting edge review. And today we're going to take a look at the JBL Live 650 Bluetooth noise canceling headphones. Before we get into things, let me give you a small disclaimer. This is not a paid review. However, JBL did send me these headphones in exchange for a fair and honest review at my request. Out of the box, I thought they were simply gorgeous. Very neat packaging. Very simple packaging as well. Got the headphones here, showing that they can fold inward. Micro USB, flat cord. And a braided 2.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord. Underneath here, got a carrying pouch and instructions. Google Assistant instructions are in here. Manual warranty information. So Pretty straightforward. I've been testing these for weeks. In the wake of the release of the Bose 700, $400 headphones. And I have to say, if you're on a budget, but you still want quality sound and maybe not as great noise canceling headphones, you really seriously need to give these a look. You've got your power button and your Bluetooth pairing button right here. Just slide it up and it will power on. Blue means it's connected to your device. I'll sh and connectivity is easy as it is with all the other pairs. Um, once you do it the first time, no need to worry again. You've got your volume rocker, you play pause, hold down to skip forward on a track, hold down to skip back on the track. You can also toggle between Bluetooth and active noise canceling. The left ear cup is how you control your voice assistant, either Google, or Amazon Alexa. This is mesh across the top. It's different, but it feels good. Ear cups feel good, comfortable. They don't get very hot. You've got your right and left branding inside here. They're made of mesh, aluminum, faux leather, and plastic. You can hear the plastic, but they're heavy enough to feel premium, yet feel comfortable and lightweight when you're wearing them. In terms of battery life, you're going to be able to get 30 hours on a single charge without active noise canceling on. If you're using active noise canceling, then you can expect about 20 hours on a single charge. Okay, so let's take a look at the app. It's not very robust, but it gets the job done. So you can toggle on active noise canceling from the app and toggle it off. It shows you what your battery life is. Of course, here we see it's 100% charged. This is your EQ zone. I've got mine set to off. There are three presets that come with the app and I've created one also. And as you can see, there's jazz, vocal, and bass. This does give it a significant bass boost. However, it's again, not overpowering. And it's, a, a, it's not overpowering and it also depends on your personal preferences for, for sound and also what genre are you listening to does the genre require more oomph in the bass if you like neutrality in your headphones that's great turn the eq off each eq is editable and you can save them as new ones if you have more than one jbl product and you want to add others that supports the app you can go here to my products Click the plus button and it will search for your product for you. Isn't that great? As far as the sound is concerned, the highs were clear, crystal clear and crisp and not even close to piercing. 
And that is how I knew that these headphones were amazing. The mids were well represented also, and they were forward facing, front and center. They were right here. Um, I didn't feel that they were trying to compete with the lows for any space. And the bass was tight. I was not disappointed. In fact, I was pleasantly surprised by the way these sound. When I conducted my bass test, I noticed that the bass felt natural. JBL isn't trying to put on a show here or fabricate this sound. It sounded premium. I'm telling you right now, if you don't have that $400, spend $200 and walk away feeling satisfied. One of the things that you've got to know about choosing headphones is that soundstage is everything. And I've spoken about this before, but I listened to the Beautiful Ones by Prince and the Revolution from the Purple Rain album. And during that song, and I had these headphones on, it felt like I was sitting in the drummer's seat. The percussion was coming from all sides, all around, and it was a wonderful experience. JBL's done a great job in manufacturing these headphones at a lower cost compared to its competitor. I recently got a comment on one of my reviews from Lynn McLennan. And his question was, why are people obsessed with bass? I prefer natural, accurate sound, and these could be just what I'm looking for in reference to the Impal 059s. Lynn, I'm not sure that people are necessarily obsessed with bass, but bass is important if it's supposed to be there. I'm not saying headphones should over-represent the bass, but they certainly shouldn't underrepresent them either. When I pick up a pair of headphones, whether or not that bass is there and represented as it should be determines for me whether or not I like them. If you like this review, please subscribe and consider picking these up. These could be the ones you're looking for if you don't have Bose and Sony money. I promise you will not be disappointed. I have included an affiliate link in the description. Please check it out. Let me know what you think. It's been real. Peace.